All right, um, here is my Fullbit setup. I have the projector and the screen. They're right now about a meter apart, and I'm using this interactive pen. Better lighting. It's a Dell interactive projector. Uh, most kids just think it's like a Wii, but I'm going to show you how I use this um, with Fullbit. I'm going to pass the camera to one of my students who's going to help me with this. So, Menachem, thank you. Okay. So the neat thing about using fold it with the interactive projector or with the Wii, kind of like a smart board, is, is I can move it around either by just from a distance, and that kind of gives it a kinesthetic feel, like I can feel this protein, or I can kind of drag around here like you would the mouse, but that's, that's just a little less satisfying. So here I'm going to move the protein around, and how I might use this in class is I might, first of all, go in here and say, well, what is going on with these, these red dots? And if I highlight over it, it's going to give me a clash between two atoms. The benefit then of the interactive projector is I can ask, you know, what's actually going on here? Why do we have a problem here? And I can say, so why? Why are, can, if atoms are too close, then we can talk about, well, if we have electron clouds, you know, or, or hydrogen bonds or something, why is that a, a, a bad thing? So very quickly we can go from a student working on this as a game to saying, well, why is that happening? And we can just imagine, you know, two electron clouds, there's another cloud, there's another cloud, they're getting too close, and then there's a force pushing those apart. Um, similarly, clear that up, you know, you can quickly quiz and say, what is that? You know, let's get back to the big picture. That's a, an amino acid. It's a chain of amino acids and proteins. And, and what are these other, other shapes mean? And by going quickly from this back to here, you can quickly draw things, annotate, um, and quiz students on what these different shapes are and why they're getting a bad score, um, bringing it from the game to the biology they're learning.